Good afternoon. I'm Jason Clare. I'm Josh Tolentino, and welcome to this week's edition of the Vedette Redbird Beat. Illinois State football is coming off its fourth consecutive loss to Youngstown State, a 20-6 defeat this past weekend at Hancock Stadium. Jason, what's going on with the Redbirds? Well, Josh, I was able to catch the game on Saturday and really a slow-moving offense from the beginning, transitioning along with some undisciplined plays, some flags were thrown. However, they were able to contain quarterback Ricky Davis as best they could. Freshman running back James Robinson carried the ball for over 100 yards. He had a career-long run of 43 yards, which set up the Redbirds. However, the sputtering offense did not score, and Sean Slattery was the complete scoring uh, X factor in that game he, uh, contributed all six points of the Redbirds against the Penguins. So if you really look at it, the offense is just struggling and the defense is just not always playing well. I feel like ISU has been playing behind since that Northwestern win. This Saturday evening, the Redbirds will complete a two-game homestand when Southern Illinois visits Hancock Stadium. Jason, Southern Illinois averaging over, or excuse me, total over 1,600 passing yards. What does ISU have to do to stop the losing streak? Well, that beat-up secondary has to somehow contain Josh Strong, the quarterback from Southern Illinois, but also just start upping and getting upbeat into the offense. That is something which has been absent over the past month, month or so from Illinois State. And just get Jay Colby going, give him a lead, and the defense needs to also stop the ball and take care of any sort of undisciplined penalties. Those will lose you the ball lose the ball game for you just play smart fundamental football and I am sure that Illinois State will be able to march out with a victory Saturday night. One more fact to point out is that Jake Colby was actually able to throw on Sunday um, something that he hasn't been able to do the past three weeks he's been throwing on Wednesday just because of how beat up he is so I'm sure getting those extra reps in this week will definitely help the Redbirds. Join us every week for the newest edition of the Vedette Redbird Beat to keep you up to date on the freshest ISU news. For Jason Clare, I'm Josh Tolentino, and this was this week's edition of the Vedette Redbird Beat.